hi everyone. I thought I'd do uh, another edition of what I'm going to call Douche and Pillow Talk, so I've decided. Um, yeah, so uh, we've got a special guest uh, tonight, uh, Jessie, and she's obviously a bit concerned that uh, the Pillow Talk time may have replaced the uh, Dreamy Giving time in the night time re routine. Um, so, I'm sure she'll keep me to time, and I just wanted to wrap up after the Duchenne Leadership Camp, and uh, really just say how awesome it was, and, you know, what an amazing thing we, we actually achieved over the weekend, and I think it's just really quite surprising how much you can achieve. Uh, in the weekend in terms of kind of building up people's confidence and getting people to think about working together as a team and yeah I think it was quite quite emotional at times but I think um, everyone had a really lovely time I've had uh, lots of people come up to me at the end and say how um, fantastic they found it and just what a great opportunity it was so, yeah, we definitely have to be doing more of these. There was a period at the end um, where we were also kind of marking the end of the Taking Charge project, uh, which is kind of what what spawned uh, DMD Pathfinders. So, Taking Charge was a five-year lottery-funded project run by Action Duchenne to work with... Um, people aged 14 to 19 to help manage transition um, for people living with Duchenne. And basically there was an adult steering group for that, and from that came uh, DMD Pathfinder. So it really kind of marked the end of an era today because it was the end of the Taking Charge project and kind of almost a bit of a launch of DMD Pathfinders really. And people are really kind of excited and there's real buzz so yeah I think we're gonna we're gonna achieve great things but yeah it was sad to say goodbye to the taking charge project and I think that presents us with certainly with some challenges so there's loads we want to do and loads of really ex uh, excited and enth enthusiastic people ready to get involved but taking charge received lottery funding and that has now finished, so we're now in a situation where if we want to carry on that work, we need to get fundraising. And I think it's important to note that like mo the vast majority of um, fundraising that, that is based around Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy is used to fund research. And we absolutely support the um, funding that that goes into research, it's really invaluable and I think even even the adults that you know, are maybe too old to benefit it benefit from it now, then they obviously still want to see it for the next generation so it's really important but um, we also have the fact that there are many adults living with Duchenne now and many of whom need advice support, information guidance and all that to live a good quality of life so we have to recognize the fact that we need to do something now so but research funding is great but we also need to be fundraising and focusing on quality of life and i think that's somewhere that dmd pathfinders can really come in because we will fundraise and everything that we Fundraise will go into improving quality of life for adults with Duchenne. We certainly want to be involved in the research conversation. We want to make sure that research is relevant to adults. But yeah, it's quality of life that really needs attention. And that's where we think we can add value. So I think you're going to be hearing a lot more from us over the next, next few days, weeks, months. And... Uh, 
yeah, we'll certainly be um, showing you what went on at the leadership camp. We took a lot of good footage, and we got a radio show that we, we produced that we'll release uh, in a few weeks, so do stay tuned. And, uh, yeah, may we uh, seize on all this kind of enthusiasm and, and start making waves. Right, thanks.